Okay. Um, quick question. Are you a Christian? I suppose the most straightforward answer to that is yes. Although I think it's, it's, let's leave it at yes. All right, everybody. Today we're going to be looking at this video clip from Jordan Peterson, where he says that he is a Christian and we're going to analyze what he means by this and whether that matches what the average Christian means when they say that they are a Christian. Should we consider Jordan Peterson a brother in Christ? Or is he still someone working and sorting through what it means to be a follower of Jesus? Let's take a look. Quick question, are you a Christian? I suppose the most straightforward answer to that is yes. Although I think it's, it's, let's leave it at yes. Well, there's, I, I, I'm a bit dissatisfied with that because there are so many kinds of Christians. And well, I, I, I would never imagine that you were a very literal minded Christian. Well, there, there, are, there are truths other than the literal that perhaps are more truthful than even literal truths. You know, there are many kinds of truth, and, and, and I don't mean that in a, I don't mean that in a postmodern way, actually. But the truths that govern behavior and the truths that emerge from facts are not the same truths. But you don't, do, you, do you believe that Jesus rose again from the dead? Literally. I find it, I cannot answer that question. And the reason is because, okay, let me think about it for a minute, see if I can come up with a reasonable answer to that. Well, the first answer would be, it depends on what you mean by Jesus. A historical human being that existed. In a body. And in a body. In a body. And, yeah. and it was a physical body, and then it was on Earth. Yes, that it was on Earth, and that was literally uh, was literally um, uh, they came back to life after death. I would say that at the moment I'm agnostic about that issue. All right, so there's a couple of things that we do need to consider as it relates to the statement that Jordan Peterson just made uh, concerning his agnosticism about the bodily resurrection of Jesus. Firstly, this clip was shot a few years ago. Since then, there are indicators that he may have shifted his position on this. Let's take a look at that clip real quick and then we'll come right back. So what you have in the figure of Christ is an actual person who actually lived plus a myth, and in some sense, Christ is the union of those two things. The problem is, is I probably believe that, but I don't okay. know. I don't, I'm amazed at my own belief and I don't <laughs> understand it. Like, All right, so it seems to be that he shifted his position, but we're just going to talk about whether or not one can say that they are a Christian and not believe in the bodily resurrection of Jesus. And the clear answer is no. When it comes to historic Christianity, when it comes to the criteria that the Bible sets forth, the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So if Jordan remains agnostic about this issue, then the answer of whether or not we should consider him a genuine brother in Christ is no. However, I do think that Jordan's initial inclination to answer the question of whether he's a Christian with a yes has more to do with his personal moral outlook, that the moral framework, the societal framework, the psychological framework of the Christian tradition as a whole is consistent with Jordan's internal belief system. So I think that the yes that we initially saw from Jordan on that question was more along the lines of a cultural Christian. So I do uh, think that there may have been a shift in the position on this particular issue. And if Jordan has now added to his particular view an affirmation of the bodily resurrection of Christ, then he would be considered a Christian. And we should treat him as a brother in the Lord. Obviously, 
there does need to be a sense of um, obedience to the word of God that would bear fruit and all of those different things. So just having an intellectual assent is not the same thing as having a heartfelt conviction concerning the lordship of Jesus Christ, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, Those two things appear to need to be combined in Romans chapter 10. So this may be something worth considering in addition to some of the things that I've already given commentary to. Let's assume that Jordan has changed his position uh, and he now affirms the bodily resurrection of Christ. However, he has yet to embrace Christ as his Lord. Then that would also be problematic because the criterion given by the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 10 seems to assume a submission to the Lordship of Christ as well as an embrace of the reality of Christ currently being alive at the right hand of the Father. And how could you embrace his Lordship if he is not indeed resurrected from the dead? So we need to continue to pray for Jordan. I understand that a lot of people are arguing, debating about whether or not he is truly a Christian. I'm not here to necessarily... Um, look into a crystal ball and tell you what's inside of Jordan's heart. But I will say this, anyone who is gravitating towards the truthfulness of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, it is an evidence of the Holy Spirit's work in their heart. And we as believers ought to join God in prayer and intercession, uh, join God in his work by praying and interceding on behalf of uh, Dr. Peterson that this gravitation towards the person and work of Christ will continue into a total culmination of heartfelt faith. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to the channel so that you can uh, get notified when my next video comes out. God bless you and we will see you in the next video.